Tony calling, we going global. Foreign cities, Millie rocking. Hit my shot, feel like Kobe, bitch, I'm balling. I ain't used to have money. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Kelly. For those that are new, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to get that telephone effect. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to get some cool reverby background vocals and just turn your voice into an instrument. I am using Adobe Audition for this, but you guys can use any program and use these same techniques and achieve these results. So on the screen, we have our Travis Scott vocal preset, which I just released. So if you guys wanna go check it out, links are down below. But this is my demo that I use for the preset. Fire. So first I'm gonna show you guys how to get that telephone effect on your voice and then we're gonna turn ourselves into an instrument and I'm gonna show you how to get a cool sounding reverby background melodic vocal. Just stay tuned, just, just wait. So we're gonna focus on these two vocals right here. So as you guys can hear right now, they sound pretty much normal. All that I have on them right now is some compression, some EQ and some reverb. So all you need for this is an equalizer. You can use any program you want and it's super simple to do. But we want to click this arrow and we want to scroll down to filter and EQ and then go to parametric equalizer. Now I already have mine as you guys can see. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now once you open your parametric equalizer, it's going to look like this. There's nothing going on, completely flat. We're going to want to change our range to 30 decibels. Then we want to click our high pass filter and click our low pass filter. And we're going to cut all of our low frequencies. Not all of them, but a big percentage of them. And then we're going to cut a lot of our high frequencies. And then we're going to bring it up a tiny bit in the middle. And that's all you got to do to get the telephone effect. Now, I'm probably going to have to adjust this a little bit to get it the way I want to. And if we listen to before. After. So now I'm going to want to turn the volume up a little bit. Maybe cut a little bit more lows. And we have our telephone effect on our vocals. Super simple. Now you guys can change it up a little bit to fit whatever you're doing. You can bring the highs up a little bit more. You can bring them down a little bit if you want to. You can bring the lows back a tiny bit more. You can cut them a little bit more. You can bring the highs up a little bit more or cut them a little bit more but this is the basis of what you gotta do to achieve the telephone effect. All right, so here we have the session for my Yeet vocal preset, which we also just released as well. I will leave a link down below if you guys wanna go check it out. So what you wanna pay attention to here is these background vocals. In a lot of his songs, he'll take his vocals and use them as part of the instrument, and that is what we did here. So again, pay attention to these background vocals. Money calling, we going global. Foreign cities, really rocking. Hit my shot, feel like Kobe, bitch, I'm ballin' I ain't used to have much, now I got some options This a different mall, this a different hall It's a whole new level, this is super sour Ocean views, private villa on the Riviera Where I had my time, this a different era Got a hundred on me, couple thousand on the jeans Yeah, new flesh, but the same on me so as you guys can see we have some cool 
reverby background vocals and it kind of sounds like it's part of the instrument so the main effects that we need to achieve this effect is our auto-tune our studio reverb our echo our chorus and flanger and distortion everything else is just the regular effects that i use for my vocals so we want to crank our auto-tune all the way for the studio reverb we're going to use a lot of reverb these are my reverb settings so we want a lot of auto-tune and a lot of reverb all right, so next we have our echo. Now for the echo, we have two different delay times for each speaker. So the left speaker we have at 450 milliseconds and the right speaker we have it at 225 milliseconds, which is half of 450. And the reason for this is for the echo will bounce from speaker to speaker. So you get this cool surround sound effect. So you're gonna wanna find your delay time and then cut it in half and use a faster delay on one speaker and a slower delay on another speaker. And our next effect is our course and our flanger. So if you guys click the arrow and go to modulation, you will see course and flanger. So what this is doing is giving you that surround sound effect. Gonna take your vocal and separate it so it sounds like it's coming from both speakers, like there's two voices. This is also really good to use on your courses. This way it gives you like a, a full sounding course. And last but not least, we have some distortion. So if we go over to special, you will see distortion. And I am using the tape drive distortion effect. Now this is gonna make your vocals super loud and distorted, but it really gives your vocals a nice texture. So with the auto-tune cranked, the reverb cranked, the echo going back and forth, our chorus modulation and our distortion, it really transforms your vocal into just a weird sound and then after all that you got this that money calling we going global foreign cities merely rocking hit my side feel like Kobe, bitch i'm balling i ain't used to have much now i got some options this a different mall this a different house it's a whole new level this is super sour ocean views private villa on the riviera where had my time and I'll show you guys what it sounds like without this stuff as well. So without all these effects, you got this. This is a different mall. This is a different high. This a whole new level. This is super sad. Ocean views, private villa on the Riviera. Then one more time with the effects. This is a different mall. This is a different high. This a whole new level. This is super sad. Ocean views, private villa on the Riviera. Where had my time? This is different era. It can really make a big difference and help a lot with your background vocals. But that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to go check out this vocal preset, links are down below. We have effects for a hook, effects for a verse, effects for your background vocals, and we have a master track down here below. All Adobe stock effects. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Go add these effects to your vocals. Go make some awesome background vocals. Drop a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Peace.